What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Mom Heroes. First of all, I want to wish all of you guys a very Merry Christmas and uh, today I'm going to be taking on Lelina's Legendary Hero Battle and I'm going to be giving guys a free to play solution with free to play units for Abyssal, Infernal and Lunatic. And if you find these guides helpful, then be sure to subscribe as I do upload Tactics Drill, Resonant Battles and many other free to play guides and videos. So this is going to be my Infernal team here. Uh, with Regan. So Regan is making her debut on a Legendary Hero battle and uh, you don't really need anything else on this team except for HP plus 3. All of the other skills are the vanilla skills of these units, the base kit, and that's pretty much it. So let us take on Infernal Difficulty. And Regan just allows us to be so aggressive, which is amazing. I love it. So as you'll see, we'll go in and take out Lelina. We're not going to be turtling. So you want to go ahead and just Orders, attack this Axe Knight first and um, you want to go here. ahead and use your Sather Shell. Sather Shell is really good because it does do the adaptive damage so it's really good against these kinds of armor units. You want to dance with your Peony using the Aerobatics. So Kanto yes. being such a useful skill here. And you just need HP plus 3 to survive one of those uh, Cavaliers. And now we can go ahead and take out this blue mage. Doesn't really matter if this is a blue mage. Regan is still going to be taking out um, that enemy. And we can just go ahead and use uh, Erika to take out this Zanbato sword. Sword knight. Who will ignore any kind of buffs which Erika has got. So this is a pretty easy team to have for any kind of new player. Um, and everyone is going to be having these units because there are three of those uh, story units. And Erika is from the hero's path. So now we're gonna go in and uh, just completely wreck this map with Regan. Because we can use Kanto like this. And use Dance. And uh, Sather Shell is gonna be making quick work of Legendary Lilina. And that's gonna be it. Just one-shotted. Because of the Orders buff on air, we can teleport over here and take out this cleric who has got Panic. So it's really important to take her out. And that's why I didn't have air in the range of that Panic Mage before. Um, and now we could just have our units separated because that Troubadour does have Sabotage Attack. So that's why you should be away with your units. Have social distancing of course. And um, now we have this blue flyer showing up. We can just use our Iceberg to take out this guy. And we can go ahead and take out this Troubadour with Regan. Just stay over here. And uh, we could use Erika to take out this Sword Cavalier. Good morning. And take out this guy. So you needed a 2 plus 3 on Regan to survive that Sword Cavalier after that Troubadour attacked you. So you just need a bit of extra bulk on Regan and you should be able to do it. And now we have these enemies approaching us. So now we're going to be retreating a bit. So we could just hide in this pocket with uh, Regan and Peony. And this will allow us to basically divide these units. So we can go ahead and just attack this red Fafnir safely from behind the pillar. And we can go behind air now to be safe. And Dragon can just destroy this blue mage here. And Peony can just stay in that pocket because she can easily get taken out by the Lance Fighter. Yep, the Brave Axe Flyer is no threat at all. And now we have these two enemies separated, so this is exactly what we want. We're gonna attack with Erika first because of her Gleipnir Tome, um, as it only works when the enemy is at full HP. And now we can just finish off this uh, enemy with air. Over here. And now we could just have Regan and Peony like this. We can easily take out, um, yeah, this red mana keat yeah. with the help of. Regan. Good morning. So we can just dance Regan. And we are gonna be waiting a bit yes. because we cannot really double this um, Sword Knight because it's an odd turn. And now we can actually double him, which is really good. What should I do? So let's do that. Over here? And we actually don't take out the Sword Knight with that uh, Sather Shell, way. but yeah, we're gonna use Peony. Actually, yeah, I didn't trigger uh, Sather Shell because that guy had. Uh, guard sword. So that is the infernal difficulty and now let's move on to the big bad abyssal. 
For the Abyss of Difficulty, I'm gonna be using the same units actually, but we do need some stronger Sacred Seals because we need to have some oomph to take out this map on the Abyssal. So first of all, we have got Ariana Grande and you need to have Susparo Sacred Seal. This is really important to take out some of the crucial enemies, so make sure to have this. And then I've got Peony. Peony needs to have Drive Attack too. Again, we need a bit of power, so this is really necessary here. And Erika needs to have Deathblow 3 and Night Sky. Night Sky is a prerequisite skill of uh, Glimmer and Astra, but any kind of 3 turn special that is not Luna should be able to work out here. I'm just using Night Sky because it's the cheapest one and it's really really easy to get. So make sure to have this on your Erika so that we can take out that Sword Knight. These guys, these fridges are at 99 HP so we need some extra power. And at last we have got the newest free to play goddess, Regan. And she needs to have Sturdy Blow 1 or just any kind of Sacred Seal that could give her like extra 2 attack basically. And you need to have Hit and Run on her slot B. Hit and Run is also pretty cheap from a 3 star clear and um, Hit and Run in general is a very good skill on Regan. So you're really not going to be wasting uh, this skill on her. So those are the 2 skill inheritance you need from 3 star units and that's all you require with this team. And you do need some stronger Sacred Seals, but these are very common to get. So Sparrow and Deathblow and Drive Attack. So that is going to be our Bizzel team. And even if you're not going to be using the same units, you can still get an idea on how to approach the map. And you can definitely approach this map very aggressively with Regan because she just destroys these units, even on a Bizzle. She's got absolutely no chill. Now our strategy is definitely going to be a bit different for a Bizzle because uh, we have some really um, bulky units here. So you want to start by attacking this Axe Knight actually, so that you can knock him out of the uh, Weary Fighter range basically. So you want to do that, and you want to go over here with your Regan, and then take out this Axe Knight with your Erika. So the attack order changes from the Infernal Difficulty, because that Axe Knight has got 99 HP, and now uh, these Mages and this Cleric is going to be coming down. So we have this Zanbato uh, Sword Knight again. So you want to go ahead and attack this uh, Blue Mage here first. And Regan cannot really take out this Blue Mage on Abyssal, which is a bit sad. But Erika is going to be finishing that job. So Erika can just do 10 damage. And again, Deathblow Sacred Seal coming into the play. You don't really need like Glypner Refine here. Um, but I guess if you have it, then it makes it easier. Now you need Night Sky here to take out this uh, Sword Knight here because you only do 41 times 2 so the extra damage from the special definitely helps a lot. Now we have this cleric with panic so you want to avoid her so that's why you want to have your air on the safe side away from Peony who's gonna get uh, panic along with Erika. And here comes this uh, green mage. Yeah. So we can just use Sather shell to absolutely nuke this mage into the outer space. Go over here uh, with Kanto and uh, just dance your Regan to take out Lina again. Lina <laughs> didn't even get to move from her space and we just took her out. I kind of feel bad. Um, so that is going to be it. And because of hit and run, we actually body block this Troubadour and trap her. Which is really great because this Troubadour does hit pretty hard on, uh, on the Abyssal difficulty along with these other units. And that is enough to take out Regan um, if you don't have a proper Sacred Seal. I was trying to use like attack defense solo Sacred Seal. Uh, but you'll see why I changed my strategy in a moment. So here we have Regan and uh, Ear takes out that uh, Cleric with Susparrow, Sacred Seal. And now we again need to be away from each other, maintain the social distancing because the Troubadour has got Sabotage Attack. Um, and that is going to be it for that Axe Flyer. So because of Hit and Run, uh, the Axe Flyer was able to attack Regan. Otherwise that Axe Flyer would have gone back to rally up this Sword Cavalier. And this Sword Cavalier does hit pretty hard. Alright, so now we can just uh, attack this Blue Flyer with our Iceberg. They've started to add these rain skills on these Flyers, which can be just so annoying. But in any case, we can finish off this uh, Mage Flyer. And then you want to go ahead and attack this Sword Cavalier. And now we can just take out the Sword Cavalier, use Kanto to body block this Troubadour again. This Troubadour is not going anywhere. She spawned in the wrong spot. So now we have this Lance Knight coming over here. Lance Fighter, sorry. So we're going to be going ahead and attacking this guy. And taking him out with air. So that is going to be it. 
yeah. We finally put the Stupidor out of her misery because Regan is uh, definitely pretty merciful. Just takes out that Troubadour after ready? trapping her <laughs> for a few turns. And we have pretty much won at this point. So by having Erika go down, we basically um, attract this Blue Mage to go down. If you have Erika over here on this spot, then this Blue Mage will go up. And Regan cannot take out this Blue Mage because of double close defense. Like, why did they do that? I was so close to figuring out a free-to-play solution that didn't use any skill inheritance. Um, but I was just not able to take out this blue mage with my Regan because of double close defense. Um, so that was definitely pretty frustrating. So we could go over here with um, here. And again, we are going to be dividing these units. So divide and conquer is going to be working out. This red mana cube comes over here. And uh, now we could just attack her. She is very fast actually. The with that rain skill and also a sudden panic Orders, there's definitely a bit of panic on this map like this guy has got panic Over that uh, red mana key had sudden panic because they know that we're gonna be using peony so that's why they have so much panic so we attack this blue mage and take out this enemy who had double close defense should have run double distant defense now Ready. if they wanted to not get taken out by here so now, um, we can just take out this, uh, so Regan just absolutely destroying this map. She, she ends up on the same spot as Lena. She's like, this throne is mine. <laughs> really, really funny. So let me know if you have any kind of trouble with this abyssal difficulty. I'll try my best to help you in the comments and other people will too. And now let's move on to the lunatic difficulty. For the Lunatic difficulty, it's even easier. You don't really need any kind of Sacred Seal whatsoever. You could do this with units with their base kits. And uh, we don't really have that Cleric over here, which is pretty helpful. That Cleric who had Panic. So you want to start similarly by attacking this uh, Sword Knight. And then retreating with Regan and Erika. Because of not having that Cleric over here, we could just go ahead and take out... Lina on turn 2. Again, <laughs> Lilina gets to do absolutely nothing, not even move, and yeah, that's it. That's basically it. Peony is not getting taken out by this green mage on Lunatic. Sure, uh, they do quite a bit of damage, Over but here? not enough to really take us out. We attack this Flash Troubadour, and we can what go over here do? to just take out the green mage pretty easily. Ready. Yeah. Have Regan be in the range of that... Um, of that Axe Flyer, who's gonna do no damage and is gonna get taken out. Yes. So we can just take out this Blue Flyer like this. And then we can just use Dance on air. Orders, please. We do take out this Lance Fighter after the support from Peony. Over and here? we also take out the Sword Cavalier with the Sather Shell. And we get to retreat now with Regan, and now we're just going to be staying over here. Um, yeah, this Mana Keat and this Blue Mage are going to be coming over here, but that's fine because we can just I won't lose. take out this Blue Mage like that. The glimmer of life. And attack this uh, Red Mana Keat for quite a bit of damage. Maybe with the Aerobatics, we can take out this Red Mana Keat. And now the only unit left is this what Fridge over here. Over here? Um, so we do double and take him out. So let's have this animation for Regan, who was so awesome uh, for this Legendary Hero battle overall. I'm going to stop you. I mean, you stopped pretty much everyone. <laughs> sword Knight brought a sword to a gunfight, so he's gonna pay the price. I mean, Lilina also brought a horse to a mecha fight. <laughs> so that's my free to play guide. Be sure to share this video with your friends who are trying to beat this map. Uh, on the Abyssal difficulty, it can definitely be pretty annoying, but uh, as you saw, I took the aggressive route. I want to thank all of my YouTube members for all of their support, and if you enjoyed, then please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Help me tremendously. Be sure to subscribe and also hit the notification bell, because YouTube subboxes do about as much work as our enemy Lilina was able to do against us on this map. So with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.